as mortgage rates decline. With this standoff between buyers and sellers, real estate agents are finding they got to get creative to protect their own personal bottom line. On social media, they are accentuating the positive, as usual, and downplaying the negative. For example, in New Jersey, we spotted agents highlighting the down payment or the monthly payment rather than the full selling price of the home. Ralph DiBagnara is a real estate and branding expert and president of Home Qualified joins us now in the studio. Does it work? Like if you just say, look at what your monthly payment is and forget about how much it costs over 30 years. It at least gets them off the sideline to explore. And, mm -hmm. and I believe that's what real estate agents are trying to do. Hey, at least look at what the market looks like now. And according to real estate agents, it's always a good time to buy. Sure. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I think they're using those practices, especially through social media, to bring people in to say, hey, at least take a look. Is, is the breaking down of the, uh, of the mortgage payment per month factoring in where the rates are right now? I mean, are you having to balance, like, if you wait longer and home prices soar, you, you could actually pay more even if, your, your mortgage rate goes down For a little sure. bit. I, I, what, what realtors are highlighting and finance experts are highlighting is that if prices rise in June or July when we think the Fed's going to cut rates, right, then home prices will, will if, if the rates come down, home prices will go with it, mm -hmm. right? So if it's a higher price, you're better off refinancing that home at, at a later date. And I think that's what they're highlighting, right? Like buy the home now at a lower price and refinance it at a lower rate when rates come down. It's, you could always refinance. You're not going to be able to lower the price on the home once they go that way. So I believe that... You know, if you see anything, it'll be a 10 to 15 percent raise in prices. So as you know, rates come down, as rates know, come well, down. that's the way bonds are. When bond rates come down, Correct. the price of the bond or the value of the bond goes up. And that's Correct. really what a mortgage is. Exactly. Right? I mean, yeah, it's, exactly. it's really a bond. I mean, I think you're, I think you're on to this. I mean, or realtors are on to this. Real estate agents are on to this. It's the idea that people buy the payment. They buy the monthly payment. Because if you looked, if you were going to take out a $500,000 mortgage mm -hmm. and pay it off over 30 years, you're not just going to pay $500,000. You're yeah. going to pay $1.4 million or something like that. And you'd say, well, hell with that. I'm not paying that kind of amount of money yeah. for that house. But if I, if I reduce it to the monthly payment and the down payment, that makes it a much more palatable thing for me. Your payment's what you, have, you get every single month, right? And that's what people look like. You're right. Nobody's looking at what it's going to cost me over time. So that monthly payment... And other things... It's like a car payment. It's, it's, same it's like exact a car thing. payment. I buy a $60,000 car. I'm not... Maybe I'm not looking at the price of the car, but I'm looking at the price of the monthly. Every single time. And some other things are factoring into that now, and, and it's not being talked about enough, but I think you'll see it more prevalent over time, is that insurance costs are way up over the last way year, up. and that's become a huge problem. Mm -hmm. And now taxes, because home prices are up so much over the last couple of years, are now being reassessed, and taxes are higher for property taxes. So these are things that obviously factor into the monthly payment that we may not, we're not highlighting that need to be looked at for, by buyers. I, I've actually heard that insurance costs are so high that in some places, for instance, in Florida, it's killing deals for because sure. people then take a look at what their monthly payment is going to be for insurance. And they're like, I'm out. I can't, I can't swing that. I, I'm, I'm curious. The last time we saw mar mortgage rates at this level, we didn't have social media. We didn't have the ability to storytell like, you didn't have a house as part of this narrative with a beginning, middle, and end. Sure. And, and the costs of producing it now are so low compared to what they were back then. Does it make it easier to sell homes even when the market is difficult? It definitely helps. You know, a lot of what you're seeing now is people showing before and afters on homes. Hey, you can use renovation loans or renovation to make this house what you want it to be. Or relocations become a huge thing, right? This is how much a, a $300,000 house, you know, what a, a $300,000 house looks like in Texas compared to what $300,000 gets you here. So relocate to Texas or Florida or Tennessee and mm. you can get a lot more for your money. So before we didn't know what that was. We thought it, but we didn't really know it. And now social media is making that present where we can see, visually see, hey, if I move states, taxes are lower, I get a lot. I get a pool. I get I get yes. forty seven hundred square feet as exactly. opposed to twenty seven hundred square feet, or whatever it is. Yeah. If you're in in Fort Worth as opposed to uh, Bergen County, yeah. and and these are things that weren't present before. How tough is it for real estate agents, uh, mortgage agents, title people? Like, what is the market like right now? If you're working in this industry, it's tough. You know, this is probably the toughest year that all of those people have seen, maybe ever, because they're new to the business. But it's definitely the toughest year since two thousand in seven or eight, in a different way. You know, there was a report that came out last week, obviously, that last year, 2023, was the, the least amount of homes sold since 2010. Now, I think that number is obviously skewed because it's a different market where there was a surplus of homes then, and now there's a shortage of homes. So that definitely played into it, but that doesn't help people who are in the business.